Why is Africa considered as cradle of humankind? Distinct cultures, colors, races, and languages throughout seven continents. But from whom came all of these? What can we learn from history, science, and archaeology? And why is it thought that Africa is the birthplace of civilization? First of all, the idea that humans descended from Africans is fact rather than fiction. Later, migration gave rise to different ethnicities, cultures, and ancestries. You'll learn some of the main justifications for why Africa is regarded as the birthplace of civilization in the following few minutes. Welcome back to Quick Information Post, the number one online information sharing, that is there to help you understand your world better. In case it's very first time in this please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. So now let's back up and go back in time, probably time immemorial and figure out this concept. Our ancestors emerged in certain regions of Africa some 7 million years ago, according to fossil records, DNA, and archaeological data. Additionally, the modern human, Homo sapiens, developed from our hominin forebears just over 300,000 years ago. And it has been demonstrated that this had place in Africa. Additional DNA and fossil research reveals that our African ancestors' migration to Europe, Asia, and the Middle East was driven, among other things, by climatic circumstances, the tracking of migratory herds, and other factors. According to the research, the migration occurs after a significant environmental change. Maybe some left because the surroundings were getting worse. Why are there so many tribal conflicts, racial tensions, and other issues if all humans of all races, places, and civilizations originated in Africa? The earliest humans who lived in Africa were employing stone technology as early as 2.6 million years ago according to scientific and archaeological study. Today's world is one of smartphones and computers. However, technology at the time was Old Awan, which consisted of crude stone tools with one or more flakes chipped off. The first Old Awan tools were discovered in Tanzania's Old Uvai Gorge by Louis Leakey, a Kenyan British paleoanthropologist and archaeologist, in the early 1930s. Since then, the scientific community has made a number of findings on the origins of human civilization and the usage of technology in various parts of Africa. It is understandable why Africa is regarded as the birthplace of civilization. The abundance of ancient tales shown in sculptures and other works of art is another significant factor supporting Africa's claim to be the birthplace of civilization. There is a better way to say this, according to the late Kofi Annan, former Secretary General of the United Nations. African rock art is more than just that, it is the shared legacy of all Africans. It is part of humanity's shared heritage. This priceless resource is seriously threatened by rising populations, vandalism, and theft of African rock art. The time has come for Africa's leaders to play a new, more significant role. This cultural treasure must be preserved before it is too late. Modern-day geniuses like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk accomplish the impossible. How then, in the year 2570 BC, did a monarch construct a pyramid that is 138 meters tall, the equivalent of a 40-story building? One of the most remarkable structures that history has ever seen is the Great Pyramid of Giza. Pharaoh Khafu constructed it in Egypt, and thousands of years later, it still stands strong, tall, and wonderful. It comes as no surprise to hear any scholar or regular person claim that Africa is the cradle of civilization if African leaders were able to perform such miracles in such a prehistoric era. But things don't stop there. The way the history of Africa has been told is incorrect. It's really important that people should understand and realize that Africa is a true and outstanding figure in both prehistoric and modern-day world, only if it was given the true meaning it deserves.